All right, now Nikki's gonna go ahead and load her horse on the trailer, just like we did on the teeter bridge. Find the ledge. Good. Now just stop right there, Nick. Stop right there. Rub it, rub it there. Now step him back on. Step him back on. Put him back him off now. See how horses get real sensitive about backing to find that ledge. But you gotta work at this calmly and relax to where the horse knows it's not going to fall off the end of the earth. Okay. Go ahead and step him on. Alright, George, you to come over here. So now, when you get your horse up on the trailer, just stop. And, you know, what I'll do a lot of times, See how he gets a little restless up here? That's okay. Because he's he's had some cowbelly somewhere forcing him on the trailer and in a hurry, see? And what we gotta do is just put our hand on him and let him know, it's all right, bud. And you gotta be patient here, folks. You got to let this take the time that it needs to take. Because I can feel, when I put my hand on this horse, there's tension. I can feel that energy coming out of the horse. You gotta learn to read your horse. So what this horse is telling me, he's just not too sure of himself up on the trailer. He's, he's had forceful experiences on the trailer. All right. So now, you see him, he's relaxing now. He's got his leg parked out. And I feel the energy leaving his body and him getting more relaxed. So sometimes maybe get your brush and brush your horse on the trailer. Years ago, I, I remember I had one, I'd, I'd feed him on the trailer. I'd do every, everything I could to make that trailer a welcome spot, a place of sanctuary. Now, you should be able to just throw that rope over his back and let him walk right on the trailer. And he should look forward to going somewhere with you, okay? All right, now we're gonna back him off. So back up a little, Joyce. Now, proper etiquette, in my opinion, proper etiquette is you back your horse off the trailer. Now we haul our horses mostly on stock trailers and we'll sometimes just turn them around and just walk them off. And you know, when we get new horses in that haven't been schooled to trailer properly, there's no sense getting in a fuss with that horse before he's been schooled properly and had the proper backgrounding to do this. So I'll just lead them right off however they want to get off when they first get here and then we'll go to work on doing it properly. But you know a lot of people have slant load trailers and side by side trailers and to do that right, to get up in that slant load trailer, up in the front nose of that trailer with that horse, you know you better occupy his mind and you better be relaxed because those are tight quarters up there and it's a little dangerous if the horse isn't prepared correctly. 